Was the lie you hunchback hippies, how the hell are ya? Since most of us eventually develop a love-hate relationship with Warframe, I decided to make this a two-part series, starting off with 10 or so things to love about Warframe, at a later time, I will make 10 things to hate about it which I will link at the end of this video, as soon as it is done. So then, let's get right into it. One hundred percent free to play. Despite being a well-known fact that Warframe is truly free to play, there seem to still be players out there who think there are hidden microtransactions or paid DLCs. But no, none of those exist. Yes, sure, as a newcomer it will not take long for you to realize you need Warframe and weapon slots like nothing else in game, but you can acquire them too by playing the game and most effectively using the trading system to trade with fellow Tendos for everything one may need. Including premium currency, like it or not, this is pretty damn good. The engagement of the developers, hardly any other developer is as engaged with its community as Digital Extremes is. No, they are not perfect but it would be fair to say that DE pioneered their bi-weekly in-depth dev streams to talk about everything Warframe. Till this day, there is no company out there that puts themselves out there the way that Digital Extremes does except maybe a few Anthem Studio directors on Twitter. Others have tried over the years but failed horribly. All in all, it is good to see a developer openly share and exchange their passion for the game their players are crazy about. Next up. Variety. After seven years starting from a small game that was doomed to fail, Warframe now has several dozen playable Warframes. Hundreds of weapons including melee, several companions to fight at your side and battle and every single item can be customized individually. There is a reason the meme, fashion frame is true and game, exists. This allows players to set themselves apart from others so much so that it is not uncommon to recognize a particular player by their fashion alone. Furthermore there are over 1000 mods that one can use to customize builds to do whatever you want. The sheer amount of options one can have is overwhelming but it is great to know they are there. Moving on. Mobility. After playing Warframe for an extended duration, one becomes spoiled with the crazy mobility, double jumping, bullet jumping, max pain aim gliding, sliding, roll dodging and stringing all of these maneuvers together truly make for an excellent ninja experience. Hardly any other game can match this level of mobility. Not even the mega jumpy devil may cry. <laughs> Talk about horsepower. So after becoming accustomed to this level of movement, playing other games will often feel slow initially. For some, nothing else is ever quite the same. Next up. The graphics. Love it or hate it, Warframe looks fucking stunning. Over the years Warframe has visibly evolved from something that looked almost like MDK on PlayStation 1 to something that dazzles players with high quality graphics, often outshining the competition. Warframe puts a lot of care into particle effects, shadows, lighting and much more and it shows. One could easily spend a few serene moments on some of the open worlds and simply gaze into the sunset, if only there weren't any scrubs around constantly trying to kill you. Regardless, Warframe is a gorgeous game to look at. Even after seven years, the graphical prowess of these guys is a force to be reckoned with. Up next. The sounds. One cannot praise the graphics of Warframe without mentioning its audio effects as well. Have you ever played Warframe with good headphones?
if not then first of all, what are you doing with your life and second, do it. Warframe sound design team is arguably the most skilled department among the E staff. That's right, I said it. Sue me, as a player that appreciates details and passionate work blatantly showing, one cannot help but notice the amazing sounds Warframe bombards you with. Pretty much every gun sounds meaningful and spot on. Surround ambience sounds are rich and have depth to them. It is beyond doubt that Warframe is responsible for an abundance of orgasms. Well done. Moving on. Cinematic Quests How can I talk about graphics and sounds and not wind up mentioning the cinematic quests? Starting off with tiny shortcut scenes to let your rivaling movie producers with quests such as The Second Dream, The War Within, Chains of Harrow and The Sacrifice, just to name a few. Like the story behind them or not, one can't disregard how awesome they are put together and how distinguished they are from one another. For example, and no I will not spoil anything here, the second dream will most likely hit you right in the feely feels if you are somewhat invested in the story. Chains of Hero on the other hand will convince you that you must be playing Dead Space all of a sudden, whereas Octavia's anthem ends basically in Crash Bandicoot on LSD. Each of these quests provide their own flavor which again, ties into the variety Warframe can offer to some players out there. Thumbs up, next. Optimization, for a game to look as good as it does, and have as many effects as it does, this game sure does run phenomenally even on potato PCs, compared to many other games, such as Anthem or even that little shit ring of Elysium, or that crap PUBG, Warframe runs absolutely amazingly. Most people I know can run it on the highest settings with little to no issue regardless of their machines. Sure that will not apply to everyone but one thing is for sure. Warframe is well optimized to run on low spec PCs. It is your fault if you insist on trying to run it on a Commodore 64 and get pissed about it. Side activities. When you download a Space Ninja Looter Shooter game, would you expect semi-open worlds, fishing, mining, jetpacks, Star Trek The Next Generation simulators, Tony Hawk Pro Skating, Bone Chilling Matches, Sports and Fighting, Will Warframe has all of that, yes, the side activities are not perfect, yes, we can all argue about how downright bad some of them are due to not being refined, but, it is without question that it is amazing that these side activities are even a thing. No one needed a light version of Tekken in a game like Warframe. No one needed big ass mechs with machine guns. No one needed space battleship and yet, they are there. If in the future, developers would spend more time on refining each and every one of these aspects of the game, I think Warframe could quickly become a serious threat to many more genres out there. But until then, we will have to make do with the fact of knowing these things are part of a game that did not need to implement them. There you go. 9 Things to Love About Warframe Surely there are many more things you can think of. Let me know in the comment section if you want to, and before you accuse me of kissing DE's ass again, allow me to say. Fuck you.